Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I had a lot of um, requests uh, online uh, on YouTube um, asking me to show everything that I have done but then dry. So I thought why not because I'm not going to be painting today. I, um, I want to get ready for uh, tomorrow and um, uh, tomorrow and uh, that Saturday and Sunday because I'm going to be posting like six uh, videos. Because I still have some requests and um, I want to I wanna really uh, finish them off because I'm getting, right now I'm getting commissions for pieces that people want to buy. So I want to get the, the experiments done and then I can uh, go paint for myself. So the first one, and I don't know, yeah, you can see how shiny it is. This is the, um, the pink one that I did on the, on the spinning uh, thing. And it worked out fine and uh, all the cells stayed the same and I even put in a little bit of glitter here and there don't know if you can see it on here I don't think so there's a little bit of uh, of the silver glitter in there but it's uh, it's really pretty and then put that down sorry I'm gonna have to uh, video this uh, out of out of my hand because uh, otherwise I can't show you the stuff so this one, see how shiny it is? This one too is um, all ready. And um, everything I'm showing today is uh, going to be for sale. So if you want to buy something, just uh, put it in the uh, comment section and I'll uh, get back to you. So this one is a 60 centimeter round one. Greens and blues. And it turned out really, really good. It was the first one I did on, on the spinning thing. Then I have these tiny little canvases that I didn't show you yet, but they are really cute. Anyone want to buy these? They're, uh, I'm going to be selling these for seven and a half euros. So anyone wants one, contact me and we'll make a deal. Then... Uh, I, I don't know which order I did the uh, experiment, so I'm just going to take you through it. Uh, that one, that is the um, the one that has has to resemble a beach scene. And uh, it dried up really pretty. No cracks. Just the little uh, the pin, uh, pin holes from uh, the air in the paint. But, you know, you can't avoid that. Or I, I'd have to mix my paint like uh, 24 hours before I pour. But I think it just adds to the um, to the to the piece. It's not disturbing or anything. And if you put a a, a, a lacquer layer on it, you know, it's it's what goes with acrylic pouring, I guess. Then the one I did yesterday, and everyone was so um so curious about. This is the one I did yesterday with all that PVA glue. And it dried up beautifully. It's just as dry as can be. And the um, only thing I'm seeing is that it is still very flexible. More flexible than, um, than a normal pour. So I think that is good. So it's, um, it didn't change a bit. It's still the same with the, the tree there, what I said, you know, that I thought was a tree. And the pretty uh, greens and the little bit of pink in there. And um, the next ones I'm going to show you are all 30 by 30. And people wanting to buy these, I'm going to be selling them for 75 euros. This is another one. The green and the yellow. It's dry. And uh, there's no cracks. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta mention uh, the cracks because a lot of people thought that that PVA glue was gonna crack. The thing is that I put them. I'll show you. I have a heater and I you can see where 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 it got stuck to the heater. So I just put them on the heater and I I don't get cracks. But what I think you should do is make sure that. If, if you're going to let a piece dry, they should have more heat from under than from the top. So 
There's no cracking, no nothing. It worked just fine. And if I were to put a, a lacquer layer over it, I would be very uh, confident that it's going to stay like this forever. So that was that one. And I wanted to show you this one. So this one is um, another one. I don't even remember which um, experiment this was. But it turned out pretty awesome. Especially that bit there. I like that. So let's put those back. Then I did um, the one with the silicone overload. This is the silicone overload. And now you got to pay attention, guys, because I wouldn't be doing this. Look what the silicone did. And I know there are a lot of people that say, oh, no, I can put an overload of silicone in and nothing happens. But this is the only time that I have had a painting crack. And uh, I'm sure it's the silicone. So there's a lot of crackling going on. And some people even said, oh, I really like that, all those little cracks. Well, <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's pretty. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a, a silicon overload. If you want to buy this one, five euros, it's yours. <laughs> okay, next one. I uh, can't remember the, um, the experiment I did with this one, but it is totally dry, nice and smooth, and it worked out pretty fine too. Then we had uh, this one, which I called um, uh, acrylic pouring totally gone wrong or disaster or something like that. Um, I put a lacquer layer over it. That's why the colors are popping like that. And every piece you do with acrylics from uh, Amsterdam, you know, the Amsterdam acrylics, they, the colors are just amazing. Because just one layer and, and, you know, they just like jump at you. Look at that pink and purple. And the green. So this is, um, this is a beautiful piece. I like it. And at first I didn't like the upper right, but I, I got really used to it. Because if you put in the, um, I can't get close-ups with this iPad. But it's pretty. Uh, that's, a, that's not too bad. But it is a, a really um, colorful, uh, colorful piece. So that was the acrylic pouring gone bad. Then we had the silicon overload on the canvas where I um, sprayed canvas with silicone and then poured over it. Well, the thing is, it didn't do anything, so the, uh, the paint is still pretty stuck on there. And I was afraid, you know, it would just peel off because having uh, acrylic paint and then silicone and an acrylic paint, I thought there would be some sort of a barrier and that it would let go but it's not letting go nothing it's uh it's pretty totally dry nothing going on with it then we have the um this one where i um it was the experiment with pva glue and really my pva glue is you know awesome it reacts just like the pouring medium does and this is a, a piece that I, I just like. I like the brown with the purple and the little bit of beige here and there. And I think it's a beautiful piece. And if I go in close, look at all the detail. That is amazing, isn't it? How much detail. And maybe I should just put a popsicle stick on there somewhere that you can see the uh, size. That might be uh, a little better. So you know how big it is. That's a full size popsicle stick. That's it. I, uh, I really like this one. Nice colors. Then this one. 
is um, uh, I did that too. Someone said, you know, I like that one even better than your beach scene because it has the beach colors. And I have to agree with you because I like it too. It's uh, pretty and it has uh, all sorts of effects in there. It's not totally covered in cells. There are a lot of them, but there are also some swirly parts, which I really like. So that worked out fine. And uh, no cracks, nothing, so that's okay. Then I had one, this one you saw, I made that one, with um, where I put a sponge with water on the uh, canvas first and then did the pour on top. So that one uh, has this uh, all this bleeding around the uh, pour, as you can see. And at first I thought, eh, that is ugly. But then sort of it sort of grew, grew on me, and I thought, wow, that is some different effect, and it, it looks really cool. And then someone said, can you see the uh, the animal peeking through? And there are the two eyes. <laughs> I think she meant that. So uh, it's it's a it's a nice piece. And if you have a lot of uh, white in your home, I think this would be a really nice uh, piece to put on a nice white wall. So I'm pretty satisfied with this one. Then we still have um, the how to make big cells. This one isn't for sale. Someone, uh, someone wanted to buy it. So that is, uh, it isn't uh, lacquered yet. I will put a, a layer of lacquer over it so to bring out the colors a bit bit more. And um, that was the um, the big cell thing. Then I have this one. Can you remember the cheap acrylic paint, which just fell out of the plastic cup? That I said it's like jello. Well, look what happened here. This is beautiful. I just love how how this looks like. I'll put it up around the other way, and you'll maybe you'll see what I see. Um, it's it's like a flower. Like this is a flower, and here are some uh, leaves. I really like that. But this is a uh, this one is a little bit bigger. This is not a thirty by thirty. I think it's a thirty by forty or something like that. But it has some really interesting. Um, uh, parts in it and uh, around the sides it's all wavy and then in the middle let's see there it went a, a little bit zigzaggy because all the paint went to the middle but overall it's a pretty colorful piece and the bottles said glossy and boy is it glossy because I didn't put a lacquer on here it is just so deep deep colored and then it has a sort of a lacquer all by its own because it's so glossy. That is really pretty. I really like that. So I think I had them all. Um, or, uh, the the long one I did, you know, I um, the one I did with on the black background is hanging in the in the shop in the sports shop. And there's a one. There's a little one. That's a nice one too. And oh no, I forgot the other one. Um, it's not one that I I, uh, sh I uh, videoed pouring, but it's a, a first for me on this. Uh, it, it's a wooden wooden canvas, and it's I put a resin on top, so it's pretty shiny. It's not finished yet because I still have to put another layer of resin on top. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, I was telling you. The um, the tall one with the black background, it's hanging in the sports shop. And um, the other one with the brown background, the same size, long, that one is hanging in the sports shop. So I can't show you those. But I think I had the rest I've shown you all. Yep. Well, maybe we can just do because I get a, I've got a lot of questions about the Yupo. Let me go over here. Yeah, here's all my test test canvases and a lot of tests. 
This is a really big one. And I can show you this one, I think. I like that. This one is, uh, this was an experiment pushing the uh, canvas in paint. It's like a uh, fire. I really like it. Let's see if I can get close in. Nah, I don't have any light here, but the lights are over there. And I was going to show you Yupo. See, Yupo, you can buy Yupo in uh, different sizes. And this is big Yupo. Come on, focus, please. There you go. So this is huge Yupo. Very big. And it gives some beautiful effects. It's not picking up the color very well, but it's um, it's turquoise blue, not the turquoise green I always use, but turquoise uh, blue. There you go. I think you can see it better like that. And um, so if you don't if you don't want to start off on canvases, you could buy Yupo. Put them up close here. See that? You get all the same effects. And I torched this, uh, this, this Yupo paper. Well, I really shouldn't say Yupo paper because it's, it's just 100% plastic. So, don't know how, why you call it paper. But it's pretty and you can do a lot of nice things with Yupo. Okay, so I've been, uh, running around, uh, my little studio showing you all the stuff and um, if there's any questions anything more you need to know then please let me know and for people looking for my Facebook page uh, I really had to stop uh, stop uh, taking friends on in Facebook I hate to tell you this but the world is filled with scammers and spammers and I was getting like four or five of those a day and even middle in the night and uh, it was becoming a nuisance and I just uh, I'm not accepting any more friends I'm sorry but you know on my page there's not much more on there than is on the U YouTube channel so if you really want to um, get into this hobby of pouring acrylics I suggest that you go to uh, the Facebook group and the Facebook group it's called Acrylic Pouring Basics. And you can join. There are already, I think, 800 people in there. And they are very kind people. And they will help you with anything you're looking for. And uh, we would love to see you there. So just come on over. Just join. Even if you've never done this before, we have a lot of people in there who have never done it. But they just want the information on what to buy and how to do it. So no problem there. We're a really, really nice group of people. So, okay. That's it for today. I'm going to get ready for um, a big pouring weekend. I'm going to be doing as many as I can Saturday and Sunday. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks all. Bye-bye.